Hello, hi folks, I've got a confession. I'm not really clued up on what to say, I guess I'm just lucky I've got Marco Polo here trying to teach me a lesson. But I'll be completely honest with my first impression. One glance at you and my missus would leave me to date you without question. My dude, I just wish I was as handsome as you. Perhaps maybe then I too have created a family like you. Wearing those specs how you do? I can only respect and applaud how you be pulling the fucking multiple couples. Something I can't do, might I add, pissing in the wind is the only time my pants unbuckle. He's always there for his loved ones, we can trust he'll be there when and if there's trouble. Trouble is he'll be there alright just by doing fuck all. Wait, was that a negative I hear? Come on it, what did you expect this NU double? We understand though bro, who would really want to bloody up that pretty face in silky stubble? You could even model a mankini city centre in a crowd of thousands and still attract strangers kisses and cuddles. But anyways, I'm complimenting you on your fine efforts of being part of the game like pieces of puzzle. You're so well fashionable I'm likely to even copy your dress sense. I'm telling you twice. I'd pay the price of needles in my eyes, jamming my walls in a vice, burnt by blowtorch on high, witnessing them fry just to receive a minuscule slice of your advice. Okay, okay, okay. Well done, well done. We all know you're a wizard with words. Well, I want to be just like you, so I'll track down your parents just to convince them that we were switched at birth. Milking a long drawn out search like, yo, mum, dad, it's me, your son, it's been such a blur. I've been searching everywhere, I just didn't know where you were. Then I'm looking around like, boy, had it sweet, they raised you good. With all them special needs, props to mum and dad on the efforts and patience that must have took. But, if I'm being honest, I'm just glad to hear you're good. I'll admit it, there's definitely potential there, you are good. But that's all, the only reason I got you on this card is because there was no one left sit to book. But reading between the lines, it's very admirable you're putting others before yourself. Pulling up in a hearse with Harold Shipman to restore health. All should be aware. Markle's such an intelligent killer, leaving no fingerprints thanks to his favourite pictured gloves with Big Red Clifford. And there's absolutely no way you'll trace his trainer imprints he does the business in pink fluffy slippers. Yo, I lost my pops at 16. I think you and I should link. You'd make a wonderful father figure. Yo, man, I hope you're listening clearly and hear it. I'm confident my girl will fancy me again if she sees me wearing your clothings and earrings. I'm just honoured to have a brother to spit at. I was never popular but I'm like you, I don't talk much, I ain't got no friends to chit chat, look at me, I'm just a bit fat, I came back six packs, you gain ab six packs, just look at you standing before me, you're likely to win by kicking my ass with your two beautiful pampered feet, my neck aches just looking up at all oh, six three, I'd be lying saying I'm not tempted to pinch those cheeks, well just so you know I would if I could reach, your nastiness are so bright they'll be reflecting more light than Simon Cowan's teeth, I respect your bottle, your bollocks must be so humongous they need to be in a wheelbarrow to get around or it's like pulling two full bin bags from street to street, I've seen dark and frightening schemes from either team but Marco's smile just lights up the room like a fucking lightning beam, time.